Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Harry here again. And we're back with part two of the £20 watch bundle here. In part one, we went through this box here. And after going through everything, most of this is just pretty cheap watches. Some are worth a couple of quid each that so I might take to a car boot sale and just put out for a pound each. But most of this is pretty cheap watches in here. And what I'll do with that, I'll make a job lot up and put it online for sale. And I'll probably get between 10 and 20 quid just for the, you know, junk broken watches, the cheap ones as a bundle. And that's probably what I'll get for them. But out of that box, we ended up with this little parcel of watches here, which are worth a little bit on their own. So out of these ones here, what did we find? We had two citizens ladies watches here i've got batteries in these now and they're both working we have this silver one here and then this gold colored one here these should be about five to ten pound each easy sell online they're in okay condition you know slightly worn not too bad wear and tear but you know a little bit of wear where someone's worn them so they should get between five and ten pound each for those two best one of the best ones out of the lot was probably this lady's seco watch here this here will probably be about a 10 to 20 pound watch it's in rather good condition and it should sell quite quickly at that price the other good watch in that lot was this b-ring watch here this again should be an easy 20 pound watch here then we had some others we got this hugo boss ladies watch here that should be about a tenner Random one here, I haven't done the research in it, but it's the one that's got a real diamond in it. I don't think it's really worth much, probably a quid or two. Then we had this Armadus watch here. This should be an easy £10 sale. It's quite a nice looking watch. And we had this Titan watch here, which should also sell for about £10 as well. And then I believe this was the best, best make one out the lot. I think it was Jules Jugson or something like that. Hold it there if you can see it. But it's quite a fancy make and they sell for a fair bit of money, these watches. This one isn't in the best condition, but I'm hoping it will sell quickly, you know, for a quick just buy and sell, you know, price of about £20. It could go for a bit more, but we'll see. But yeah, that was quite a nice surprise when I saw that when I looked it up. Yeah, this little parcel here should make a decent bit of money. So we're already in profit now, really. And we've gone through this box here. And today we're going to go through the other box here. So let's jump into this box and see what we got. These were £1 each. That's what he had them. Well, that's probably what he was going to sell them for. So it'd be interesting to see what's in here. And yeah, let's just jump in and see what we've got. What we got here. Not too sure. Seems like a bit of a cheapy watch though. That one there. Little sports watch here. Any branding on here? I don't think so. Oh, something on there. Yeah, cheapy little watch there. Not sure what that one says there. Kalen. Millen, I haven't heard of that before, not in the best shape. Some kind of electronic sports watch. Did have another one of those actually, yeah. Got one of those in the other job lot and I got that one working. This one's the same, this one had like a USB in. You charged up, not sure if this one's the same or not. Have a look at that, another point. Got that one there. What's this one? Cheap non-branded watch. Genuine leather though. Got that one there. Another one, unbranded. Yeah, another unbranded watch. Yeah, so these were the cheaper ones by the looks of it. Might be something hidden in here though, you never know. That one seems to be working. I don't think it's much of a brand though, that one. A little Seconda there. Not really worth a huge amount. I found a few Secondas though, so I could probably do a little job lot of them. 
Just a watch casing there and strap. Another unbranded watch. Oh wait, got a brand on the no, nope, unbranded. <laughs> got here. Laura Swatch, not too bad a nick. Seconda again. Probably gonna have to do a job a lot of ladies' seconda watches from what I found in here. Oasis there. Yeah, so no big brands as of yet. Bench there, not really worth anything. I've seen a lot of gift aid donations on some of these watches as well. What have we got here? Is that? No, not branded. The back marks and Spencers, not really worth anything. What else have we got? Random brand, don't think that's worth much. Nothing there. What's this one here? Oh, another Seconda. That one's not in too bad a nick. It's quite a nice looking one. Have we got a case back? And we've got not got a case back. That's unfortunate. Hopefully we'll find it. That might be worth a quid or two. Not looking so great so far, but you never know what we're going to find in here. Avia. Regal, is that? Regal watch. Hmm. I haven't heard of that brand. Might be worth looking up. Regal again. Let's move the. Regal. Regal or Royal. Royal, that one. Another one here. A lot of ladies' watches here. Is that another Seconda? Looks like it. Got here. Loris. Unbranded by the looks of it. Oh no, Marks and Spencers. Another Loris one there. Quite a few ladies Laura swatches. Might be able to do a job lot of them. Put some batteries in them, get them working. You're written up there. Something fancy. Norgan. Norgan, maybe. I don't know. Haven't heard of that brand before. Might be worth looking up. Do, do, do. Loris again. Here, Oasis again. Yeah, a lot of ladies' watches in here. It seems to be ticking away. Can't see the brand exactly. I'll have to look that closer. Probably not worth a huge amount though. Oh, wait, we had a tag on it. Gift aid. So a lot of these must have come from a charity shop or something like that at some point. An Omaka. Supposed to be like a fake Omega. Yeah, little football watch there. Fair enough. Another one of these. I had quite a few of these in the other box. Just a bracelet-y watch there. Got that one there. Next. And on to the next watch. We've got here. Another seconder. That's not too bad. That might be a few quid. We'll do a men's bundle with that of seconda watches. Unbranded cheap one. A Avon, yeah. Ooh. It's a vintagey. Ladies dress watch. Can't exactly make out the name on it. That might be worth looking up. Some of them can do quite well. Most of them though, most old lady, you know, watches like this don't really sell for much. It's a wind up one though, give it a wind. It does wind up. It's 
slight tick to it, but nothing much. Might be a need to look at it. I'll look up the brand, see if it's worth anything. It'd be nice if that was a real gold chain, but probably just a bit of costume jewellery. Still, go into a little costume jewellery bag, that. Worst looking thing in the world. What else we got in here? Oasis watch again. That's quite a funky one. Brands out, is that Marks and Spencers again? Yeah, Marks and Spencers, but that's quite a funky strap on there. Loris there. Come on, there's got to be some treasure in here, surely. Another Oasis. I'll have to double check all these at some point. Another smartwatch, sport watch here. Charges at the back, apparently. We have a part to the strap. Well, what have we got there? Cardio Strong. So it's probably a cheap sports brand. What we've got here? Another Seconda. This one's a bit vintage. Ooh, oh, don't drop it. It's a bit vintagey. Does it wind up? I think it's meant to be just not working still quite a vintage seconda that might be worth a couple of quid not as exciting this box unfortunately well not yet anyway hopefully there'll be something in here to save the day you never know unbranded watch there we've got here Kula. it's not too bad looking watch that one might be worth looking it up. I'm not too sure. Let's see about that. A light bulb watch. It's quite funky. That'll probably be worth looking up. It's a little bit novelty, isn't it? Light bulb watch. Oh, my legs are hurting. Just got to adjust. It's a bit better. We've got here fossil. Hey, fossil watch. Fossil ladies' watches do okay. If I can get that working, that'd be an easy fiver. It's probably one of the best ones so far. Yeah, I do like a fossil watch. They do quite well for me, especially ladies' ones. So yeah, good find of that one at least. Hopefully the treasures at the bottom. We've got there. So that's a Seconda again. Not too sure. No Eternity. No, not really worth much, unfortunately. What else we got next? Up next, an unbranded watch again. That's a bit annoying. What else we got? Loris. Another one. Meh. Maybe a quid or two at car boot sale. If it just needs a new battery. That one there. Bracelety style one here. Not sure that HK. I don't know what that means. No, probably not really worth anything. I'll look it up though. Next, on to the next watch. Is that Newton or something like that? Go on there. What else we got? Look on there. Yeah. A few more funky bracelet watches there. Not really worth much. Anything? We'll get a big handful now. A little bit disappointed in this one. We've got a seconda there by the looks of it. Oasis again and something broken by the looks of it there put it in there Philip something there
I'm not really sure what that brand is there. Might be worth looking up. Probably not though. They're all looking a bit cheapy now, aren't they? Oris, is that? Or Oasis? Either way, not really worth much. Little Lego watch there, vintagey. Kind of cute. Loris again. Loris again. Yeah, not the best bundle this one, unfortunately. Loris again. And that's pretty much it. A few bits and pieces left in the bottom. Oh, the seconder back. That might go to one of the watches from earlier. But yeah, this bundle here was a bit of a bust, unfortunately. Nothing really worth much in there. But still, it's a bundle of watches. Something like this does sell on eBay. I do buy to put on the odd bundle every now and then. And something like this probably get me £20 again. I'm already in profit on the other watches. So that's a pretty good score. So anyway, those are the last of the watch buys. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I might do one last video on what the watches sell for. If you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in watches and stuff like that, make sure you watch part one video that I did. That was quite a good one. But yeah, thanks again for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in a future video. Bye for now.